Hello, welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today I am reviewing a tobacco, a pipe tobacco called Dunhill Dark Flake. This is one of these new reissued Dunhill blends that have been out on the market in the US for a little while now. They were exclusive to pipes and cigars for a while. I was unable to procure this from pipes and cigars because they don't ship to Washington State. So anyway, ordered it from the Danish pipe shop, but now it's widely available, can get it from Smoky Pipes, many other places. Now I just reviewed The Old Sign, another one of these reissued Dunhill blends, and so I'll probably be comparing this blend to that a little bit. Check out my other review of The Old Sign if you want a little bit of a reference. But let's get into this. The blend, as I mentioned, Dunhill Dark Flake. This was originally produced in, I believe, 1970 or 1971, and then made throughout that decade, and I think discontinued right around the late 70s or early 80s. Wasn't able to get a specific date, but it has now been reissued and produced by the Scandinavian Tobacco Group. The tin description does not exist, but I will read the description from smokingpipes.com for you right now. First produced back in 1970, Dunhill's Dark Flake is a heralded vintage blend of choice Virginias and a little Perique for spice. Bolder in strength and flavor than Dunhill Flake, though still is easy to prepare. There you have it. The blend type is a Virginia Perique, or a vapor as we like to say. And the blend contains sort of dark matured Virginias and a little bit of Perique. Not much in this blend. But let's get to the vital stats. I have them right here on my handy dandy piece of paper. The flavoring on this one. No detected added flavoring, although there is almost always some sort of casing or topping. The cut on this one is a flake, as the name would suggest. Let me show you that right now. Here we have our tin of Dunhill Dark Flake. Now I did order this from Denmark, so there is that Danish tobacco warning on there. I'm not sure what it says, probably something about how you're head will melt if you smoke tobacco products. But if we pop this baby open, I don't have much of it left, but hopefully I can still show you. There are some parts that have been rubbed out, but here is one of the flakes. The Dunhill flakes are always nice and uniform, fairly thin in cross section, but this is just a nice matured Virginia flake, a little bit of black perique in there. Not sure if you can pick that out. Maybe just a little bit of lighter, brighter Virginia as well, but mostly a nice, dark, matured Virginia. Um, these flakes came a bit moist, but not too bad at all. They could still be rubbed out, still be folded and stuffed if you wished, but a little drying time didn't, wouldn't hurt either. Um, but yeah, quite nicely presented, a quite attractive tobacco. Excellent. Now back to the vital stats. I'm gonna give the strength, the body, the mouthfeel a medium, and then the taste, I'm going full flavored, but that's sort of for a Virginia. It wouldn't be considered full flavored for a Latakia blend. And if you saw my review of the old sign, I gave that a medium in strength, but I didn't go quite as high on the taste. This one is definitely a bit bolder than the old sign, though it is similar in some other respects. And the nicotine level, I'm gonna give medium, medium high on this. Moisture from tin, as you saw when I showed you the cut, it was a little moist, but still smokable. So moist towelette, I guess, according to my official designations. And then the packaging, a 50 gram tin, like so. Speaking of the tin, let's crack it open. I'm gonna shove my nose inside and I will tell you what I smell. It's not the strongest smelling sort of dark Virginia that I've ever uh, shoved my nose in, but you definitely get a little bit of, it's just a slight hint of grass, but it's more of like a decaying lawn mulch kind of grass, not freshly cut. And then I think because of the Perique and also because of the Virginias, Virginias tend to have maybe sort of a little bit of a sour fruity smell and the Perique gives you a little bit of a raisin. So I'm getting this raisiny sort of odor along with a little bit of breadiness and sugar, so maybe kind of raisin bread is what comes to mind, but very pleasant. And then the room note on this, I would say is pretty mellow for a Virginia blend, um, probably not going to linger as much as say Elizabethan or the old sign. Um, I think it's fairly pleasant, but that's just me. But let's get to the actual review, shall we? Mechanically. I showed you the flakes, 
and in spite of the fact that they were sort of moist, they still rub out fairly easily or you can fold and stuff fairly easily. I've always found the Dunhill Flakes to be pretty easy to deal with and this is no different. It, uh, it packs well, it smokes okay. There's a few more relights than you'll have for you know, your typical ribbon cut or anything, but I didn't have any issues. Um, never had a problem really with it getting too hot, never had any bite. You do have to smoke a Virginia blend with a certain cadence. You don't want to get it too hot. It can kind of steam on you a little bit, but this one wasn't particularly temperamental in terms of that. So Dunhill has this whole family of Virginia blends now. And I guess originally Dunhill Flake, as we call it, was called Light Flake when Dark Flake existed. And then when Dark Flake went away, they just called it Flake. At least that's according to the information I've been able to find. And then we have Elizabethan, we have the old sign. So we have quite a few different Virginias within the Dunhill umbrella, the brand umbrella. So where does Dark Flake fit in with that? Well, it's kind of an edgier older brother to Light Flake maybe. It's not as bready as Navy Rolls, so not as yeasty and sort of bakery tasting. And it is less grassy than Flake. Um, maybe a bit richer than Elizabethan, just in taste, not necessarily. It's, I, I would say that Elizabethan is maybe stronger feeling in a certain, to a certain way, and not even, probably in nicotine, but also just sort of, it just feels like a bolder blend, maybe. And uh, Dark Flake definitely does not have as much perique as Elizabethan. There's just a touch in this. Elizabethan, you can definitely feel that tingly pepperiness. And this, you get more of the flavor than the feel, which is interesting. If I had to pick, you know, a straight Virginia flake, even though this isn't a straight Virginia, there's a little bit of Perique um, that shares the character of Dark Flake. Maybe Gawith Full Virginia is pretty close, except I would say this is slightly less rough around the edges than Gawith Full Virginia. So I've been comparing it to other blends, but does it have enough of a character of its own to set it apart from all these other Dunhill blends? Yes. I think it does. To give you an idea of the flavor profile on its own, I'd say there's a slight bit of grass, but as I mentioned, sort of a darker decaying mulchy kind of grass. There is that raisin bread sort of flavor that I mentioned when I was talking about the tin note, but you definitely taste that as well. And I think that's a combination of a sort of sharp kind of sour tangy fruitiness and then a little bit of a raisiny sort of flavor from the Perique mixed together with a kind of brown sugar undertone and a little bit of bready yeastiness. So you put all those together and I'm just gonna call that raisin bread. And there's a slight bit of bitterness as well. So all that taken together, even though in some respects it seems kind of one note, it's not really, it's actually pretty complicated. And there are a lot of different interesting flavors at work here, you know, playing with each other, slotting in on top of each other. It's actually quite pleasant. If I had to rank it amongst the hierarchy of Dunhill Virginia blends, I'm not exactly sure where this would go. I like it a lot, and it, there's really good company within that list of Dunhill Virginias. They're all really good. I would have to maybe say, just initially, I've only had one tin of each now, I might like the old sign a little bit more than this, but that little touch of Perique does make this kind of unique and interesting. I don't know, it's hard to say, but it definitely holds its own amongst those Dunhill blends. If you like a nice dark Virginia Flake, like Gawith Full Virginia Flake, I think you'll really enjoy Dunhill Dark Flake. But again, this is a little bit easier to deal with, easier to smoke, maybe a little more refined than Full Virginia Flake. And that added extra just spice, just a little tingle of spice from the Perique is really, really tasty. I highly recommend you check out Dunhill Full Virginia Flake. I have loved the two reissued Dunhill blends that I've tried so far. I still have to try 221B Baker Street, and I'm looking forward to that very much as well. But that will be in the future. Until then, until we meet again, I've been your good friend Bradley. You have been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things reviewing Dunhill Dark Flake. I'll see you later.